Hi everyone, it's Alicia with the Dr. D Dozen and today we are making homemade chicken noodle soup for my family of 13. I have a little bit of a sinus infection I'm on medicine for, so pardon my voice, but that is what inspired me to do homemade chicken noodle soup. So, we are going to start with our veggies. I'm gonna do celery, carrots, and well, it's technically not a veggie, but potatoes. Um, <clears throat> and then I prefer to not put the noodles in the soup. We add them as we dish out the soup so that it doesn't like absorb all the broth. So the noodles are gonna get cooked separate and stay separate. I got two rotisserie chickens at Wegmans. Um, I was gonna make homemade stock. I just don't have time. We have a zillion things going on, of course. So we're not gonna make homemade stock, but that's okay. We're gonna just use the chicken. If you wanted to make homemade stock, you would take water and the carcasses and boil that for a while, but I just don't have time. So we're gonna get the stock going now, the broth going now, and then we'll finish up the rest later. Now you have to go out. Hold on. Hold. You're being a good girl. I have a five-month-old puppy, and she's like just now finally like at the point where she goes to the door when she has to go out. Huge milestone, I know. All right. Um. So I'm gonna prep all the veggies. First, not look clean. Make a mess. All right. As always, this will be a super simple recipe. Just rinsed these right in the bag. I mean, it has holes in it. It's fine. Yeah. Potatoes are optional, not everybody likes potatoes, but I don't know. I'm feeling in a potato mood today, so. I want like hearty, I want like a hearty soup. That's what I'm going for. Just cutting bite-sized pieces of potatoes. Am I boring you, Dixie? Of course, we have like an insane activity schedule today. So I'm gonna like get the broth simmering. We have Nana and Papa coming today, thank goodness. So I can like leave the broth simmering while I do chauffeur duties. Then we'll add the chicken in a little bit before we eat. And then cook up the pasta. Do 
Dash is homesick, got sent homesick. So Josh picked him up. It's just like this cold. It's been going through us. Zoe said, all of her teachers are sick. She's like, why are they still at school? I'm like, because grown-ups still work, even when they're sick. Going to make turkey soup this week. Changed it at the last minute to chicken noodle. Yes, I have one of those fun choppy thingies, but I just prefer doing it this way. It's like, it's calming for me. I know that's weird. I just love it. I don't know, I'm old fashioned. Okay, I'm actually gonna get the, um, the onion cooking now. a couple tablespoons of butter, cook up the onion, we'll add the rest. average person. I don't like them still crunchy. I like them caramelized.
forgot the bowl of water hack. Where are the onions? But we're in a hurry. We're just gonna have to have watery eyes. That's funky carrot. We do like six carrots. I just have baby carrots, so I don't know. <laughs> um, whatever would equal six carrots. I think there's like six baby carrots and a carrot, maybe. There's one. a little more because these carrots are like on their last day so I want to use them up. Sure, my dogs don't want to eat the carrots and potatoes that fall. Looks like someone took a bite out of it. Wouldn't have surprised me in this house. Nana made dessert tonight, so that's done. Be good. Okay, we got our onions cooking.
not exactly do a Simitrap pot. That's okay. <laughs> get two tablespoons of garlic going with the veggies. I always put that in later because I don't want to get burned. Like the last of this cooking spray. Minced garlic. Did I say that? You know what I meant. Not a huge garlic fan. I am. They're not. Okay. Let's get our broth. I have 24 cups of broth. I gotta leave in 15 minutes at the latest to get the girls. But they're just a mile and a half away. I mean, a half a mile away. It's cool. They don't like to wipe the boss. Those are pretty much done. Let's just finish our broth real quick. I'm gonna add 
two spoonfuls of Better Than Fullion. Maybe. Two spoonfuls, like two tablespoons. sage but I don't have any so I'm going with some poultry seasoning which has sage in it sage thyme I'm go half a teaspoon of that like a quarter quarter teaspoon it's pretty potent a couple shakes of pepper Like half a teaspoon red pepper flakes. And a few sprigs of rosemary. Not sprigs, leaves. Oh, it smells so good. There's nothing like the fresh smell of rosemary, right? Oh my gosh. Okay. Veggies are cooked. As gracefully as possible, I have those. That is it for now. We'll add the parsley, chicken, and noodles later, but let's let this cook on low for a couple hours. I almost forgot the secret ingredient is a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar to make us all healthy. And I decided since we're doing a stew do style soup, a stoop, if you will. We're gonna add a bay leaf or two. They're never gonna know. in a teaspoon of a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice too just gonna squeeze in like half a lemon just a little bit alrighty this has all the magic curing powers possible there was even nutmeg in the um 
what's that called? Poultry seasoning. I always feel like nutmeg has curing powers. Okay, I got back like an hour ago and from taking Brie to get her nails done and I didn't like, the soup wasn't cooking up quick enough. So I turned the heat up to 350 and now it's 445, let's look at it. Okay, it looks a lot better. I took out a carrot, I'm gonna try it. Perfect, perfect. I just wanna slightly thicken this up, so I'm gonna put in just a teeny tiny bit of cornstarch and water mix. That's so good. And the potato. Mm. Comfort food. Okay, I'm going for like a, I don't know, slightly thicker soup broth in between a soup and a stew broth. So I'm gonna do like an, an eighth cup of cornstarch and an eighth cup of water. I can't find any of our small spoons. So yeah, let's use this giant spoon. And we're also gonna get the chicken added. Probably. Okay. Add that in. Let's get our chicken cut up and added. And our noodles cooking. All right, get some water going for the noodles. I wasn't calling you. I said noodles, I didn't say miracle. It's that time of night where the dogs are going to stalk me until I feed them. Hi. What'd you do today? animals? Yeah. We both had them. Yeah. And, and my friend his name is um, Hope. Hope? Oh, I love that name. And oh, my, my second friend my second friend uh -huh. is Leah. Leah? Yeah. Leah was your first word. Did you tell her that? You didn't tell her Leah was your first no, word. No, I didn't say no. that. Leah is my oldest son's best friend. And Leah oh, She's always here. Right, little Leah. But I'm saying your first word was Leah. Who's little Leah? Leah? Leah in her class. But her first word was Leah because Leah always wanted to hold you when you were a baby. And she would say, Leah, 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 and then you said it. First word. My friend at school is not Leah. Right. Oh, oh, sorry, it's not my friend. So sorry. And she got curly hair. I love curly hair. Sorry, I forgot to disclaim that I was doing the chickens. Some people get grossed out by this. Chicken wing, chicken wing. Anyways. I think I'm gonna save this and make chicken stock and freeze it. 
so that the next time I want to make chicken noodle soup, it's made. Not today. Not today. I'll make it tomorrow. drumsticks and yeah I'll put these into the I'm just talking to myself I'm sorry I process things out loud dogs are waiting for me to drop anything where were you when I was dropping carrots and potatoes huh you weren't interested then Potatoes are in the, I invented something today. It's called a stoop. Can you guess what it is? It's super delicious. Yeah, it's a soup stew. No, it's not gonna be good. It's a no. I think it's gonna be mid. It's gonna be mid. It's not gonna be worse, and it's gonna be mid. Mm. Fine. You never know. Could be good. <laughs> we will be taking ours and eating on the road on the way to a cheerleading meeting and then a wrestling meeting. say they get five pounds off of one chicken I mean I didn't do it like as thorough as I could have but I don't know watching this one vlogger and she feeds her family off like one rotisserie chicken for the week. I'm like, how? We can easily down two or three in one meal. I mean, granted, we have a bigger family. is the perfect broth consistency I was going for. Stoop. All right, just waiting for the noodles. All right, I almost forgot a handful of fresh parsley. All right, water's boiling. Cook up the noodles. Pop 
Papa, did you wash that pot for me? No. No, did you wash it earlier? Yes. Thank you. I was like, it's magically clean. <laughs> the one day you like so far, you know? <laughs> Yeah. A little burn. It happens. <laughs> I got about 95% off the bottom. Yeah, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna put some butter in the noodles. And I made some, sorry you can't even see. I don't know why you're so crooked. Oh, that's right. Because Bubba knocked my ring light. Okay, I made some crescent rolls and just threw together a salad. Like I said, personal preference, if you want to put your noodles right into your crock pot, go ahead. I'm going to leave them separate and we'll dish them out by the bowl. But our chicken noodle stew is done. So thank you for cooking with me today. You are strong. You are beautiful. You are loved. You belong. And I'm so proud of you. I'll see you next time.